I've had about two and a half hours of sleep. I'm already slurring my words. Forgive me uh, in this video if I'm a little bit, um, yeah, under the weather. But less than 24 hours that we've owned our new 2021 Mach 1 and we're going to mod it. So uh, this is obviously not a handling package. You know, those are extremely difficult to get. If you custom order one, you could be waiting six months to a year, who knows? I mean, it's an insane world that we're living in uh, where you just can't get anything these days. But what we're gonna be doing today is actually installing a spoiler on the back of this that is straight off of the back of the handling package Mach 1 or a 2020 base model GT500, same deal. And I actually ordered this before I got the car and had it painted to match. So it's a special car and I can do it myself. I've done spoilers in the past, but this, you know, when they install it, we get a warranty with it and they did the paint job because when I actually took delivery of the new spoiler, it was all scratched up. They come gloss black with the wicker bill, but we're getting it painted this magnetic color so that it matches like it's supposed to. Now, however, comma, on the wicker grill, we're doing something a little bit different, a little bit spicy. So we want the car to stand out from the crowd a little bit different. But, windy. but this is, guys, if you missed the last video, our brand new 2021 Ford Mustang Mach 1 700A package with a man pedal. Yes, we opted to get the stick shift. Tremec 6 speed. Beautiful. So, all right. Let's get to uh, a cold start. This is gonna be our first official cold start in the garage. So yeah, busy day. Uh, we gotta get up there to the Ford dealership and then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna install the wicker bill and show you what we're doing different there because we wanna be different with this car. And then we're probably gonna do, I don't know if we're gonna do more mods today. I, yeah, we have to. Um, my garage, I can't spin the camera like in front of me. Um, so you can't see, but at my feet, there is a whole bunch of stuff ready to go on to our new Mach 1. But I digress, let's get to the dealership, install some goodies, and make this thing look just a little bit better. But first, let's get our first official cold start. Let's go. It's so loud. Not really, gotta fix that. Coming soon. Give you guys a shot of the rear as it sits right now. Pretty common. And we've seen them on YouTube from time to time. But, I mean, pretty basic. Doesn't look bad, honestly. But we're gonna make it better. Yeah, we want that aggressive look. And uh, all the other handling package pieces, we've either got at the house or they're on the way. made it back home this thing looks so good i'm so glad that we could get this paint matched properly but now it's time to do the wicker bill and uh, i'm gonna show you what we did different because now when you order these aftermarket well from ford it's a ford oem part but when you get these separate from the car they come gloss black uh the spoiler and the wicker bill itself now when you order a handling package Mach 1, it will come this color, but the wicker bill will also be the same magnetic. Anyway, but let's dig into our box here. We got a bunch of the factory Ford uh, stuff, different uh, handling package parts. Since buying an HP car is like near impossible, unless you're lucky, I guess. We've got the, uh, the side pieces for the fenders. 
which are like insanely expensive for what they are. Um, I don't think we're going to do that in today's video because these wheels, I love them to death, but uh, they don't poke as much as I really want to make those to justify putting those on right now. However, comma, we do have new wheels. So these are going to get replaced and uh, there'll be a next video or two. So definitely stay tuned because you're really not going to want to miss what we're going to put on them. But um, some hardware, get some screws down there. Here's our worker belt. Now, here's what we're going to be doing different. And this is what we're going to be doing different. So we painted the top spoiler but we're going to leave this gloss black that way it will match the deck lid and i think that it will give the car a little bit of a different look maybe not from you know a significant distance but when you get close to it those that know these cars will be able to pick up on a couple of things here and there just to kind of make the car our own and uh Love you, Jenkins, and win, but that has got to go. I should have pulled this off earlier. It's going to be uh, pretty easy to do. And then pull back outside somewhere and uh, do a 360 walk around, show you the finished product and how it looks. And then maybe some of you guys out there will want to replicate this in some way, you know, between uh, just painting this to match the rest of the magnetic and then leaving this, the OEM gloss black, to match the deck lid. Hopefully it looks good. We'll find out in just a second. Or we'll be going back to the paint shop and painting this to match that. So let's find out. Look how good this freaking looks, dude. This is so aggressive. It is so mean looking. It looks just like the back of a, a newer GT350 or like a, a base model GT500 uh, with the wicker wheel. That is disgusting awesome. Two words that should not be used in the same sentence, but it is wicked. I like it, man. Now, let's uh, see if we made a good call. That's, that's not terrible, I guess. Um... I don't know, let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? So we have magnetic and then the gloss. And from here, it's definitely different. So you can definitely tell. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more subtle, honestly. From the back, I mean, we'll have to pull it out in the sunlight. I think that's what we're about to do is just take it out there and then do a 360 and see what it looks like in direct sunlight. I don't know. What do you think? Drop your comments down below. Should we take the wicker bill and paint it to match the the spoiler? But I mean, it does match the deck lid at the end of the day, which is kind of the look I was going for. But yeah, let's let's take it out there and uh, and do a walk around. Let's see. All right, we're at our spot. But check this out. See if we can uh, look at this, man. This is all you see in the rear view mirror, which is I actually really like this rear view mirror. It's frameless. So it's uh, something new, but. It takes up like half of your visibility. It's pretty crazy, very race car. And this is actually, you know, it's a functional mod too. So uh, more track oriented. If you want to go drag racing or something like that, of course you could take the wicker belt off, but let's hop outside and get a 360 walk around and see how this looks. All right, the wind is gonna kill us. All right, so I think that, oh my gosh, the wind. So I think it was definitely the right call to leave that little top piece gloss, and here's why. So if you look at the striping on it on the side, and then you come to the front, you have the magnetic, but then you also have the gloss, and I think that it actually ties in properly on the back. It looks good. That looks freaking money, dude. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah dude. Oh, yeah. It's cold and windy outside, sorry. Hopefully we didn't lose half the audio there, but I think that that is a home run, the decision I made to uh, keep that that wicker bill gloss i think that that's a, i think that that was a very smart decision um i love the way that it contrasts between the magnetic and the gloss throughout the car i think it's very tasteful and uh just yeah you let me know in the comments what do you think because 
You can replicate this on your car as well, your Mach 1. But if you want to just buy one of those, the spoiler with the wicker wheel, from Ford, they come factory gloss painted. So that's always a win-win on pretty much any color. But uh, yeah, job well done from Jenkins and Wynn, their body shop. I mean, they're like second to none the best. And uh, they always have taken care of me in the past. So big shout out to those guys. And uh, I'm happy with it. I am extremely happy with it. I'm going to go back to the garage and pick up another video. Start filming some more stuff. We're going to do our first engine modification. And if you've made it this far in the video, drop a comment. Spoiler down below. Comments always help the algorithm. You know, it helps. But guys, I digress. We're going to go back to the garage now. Because we have more modifications that we're going to be doing to this new Mach 1 that we've got. And the next one up... The one that you're going to see after this is our first engine modification. Yes, I haven't even done for you guys a first drive and review. That will be coming, but there's an engine mod that we're going to be doing uh, next. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless all of you. Until next time, bye.